Hello, everyone, and welcome to my lecture. This is on generating Amazon Audible audiobooks in minutes with AI. So this is an AI audiobook generation that has just been added to the Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP web-based interface, which is the interface that indie authors, self-publishers, use to publish their books on Amazon. Now, this is a strange coincidence because I was in the middle of recording what was looking to be a very lengthy course, possibly four and a half hours on what was described as a hot topic on Udemy, which is an online video training course site that I publish my courses on. So this was a hot topic and it was audiobook creation. So I had used the Audiobook Connection Exchange, ACX, which is Amazon's interface, once again, web-based, to publish audiobooks on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. So I had just begun this course that looked like it was probably going to take me multiple weeks to record, and it was going to be multiple hours long on how to either hire an audiobook narrator or narrate it yourself and publish it via ACX on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. And I go over to KDP, the Kindle Direct Publishing Interface, to take a look at my books and I see that Amazon has suddenly added auto-generation of AI-generated audiobooks read by an automated voice. So this surprised me. And I thought, okay, there went my plans for my course. One, there goes an entire industry, which is audiobook recording. And here comes something really simple your way that you have to do starting today, which is generate audiobooks for all of your books on Amazon that you have published. Now I'm going to jump over to KDP the web-based publishing interface, and I'm going to show you the new inner, the new uh, link that's been put in for audiobooks, and then I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to actually publish an audiobook. So let's jump over to KDP, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here I am in the browser, a new tab, and I'm going to go to kdp.com, which you should be familiar with if you have already published on Amazon. So here I am in the bookshelf, and here are my published books. And notice that I have an audiobook for Death Arts here. I just published this yesterday in a matter of minutes. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So all of these have audiobooks live now. Unfortunately, I have 124 books <laughs> that I've got to go through and generate audiobooks for. So even though it's quick, you multiply it by 124, and we're talking about that it's going to take me a day and a half to do this. In fact, I'm on page three of my books. You can see I have 21 pages of books on KDP. We're going to go to page three, which I believe is the first book that has not been published for audiobook. Here we go. Nevermore. Notice this new link on the description for this book in KDP. Now, once again, this is on the bookshelf. It says, add an audiobook with virtual voice. So this is a synthetic voice, and it's going to use, it's going to read the book for me and generate an audible audiobook. Now, my book is eligible for this. You'll see that some books aren't eligible for this. For instance, this one, it says your book isn't eligible. Why isn't it eligible? And you can read why. I'm not that concerned because uh, I've got probably about 80 eligible books that I got to publish first before I investigate those. But they, they tend to be bundles and things that are problematic probably for reading books or they're too long, stuff like that. So I'm going to click on add an audiobook with a virtual voice and check out this new screen. I have four voices, which I can select from. Now, I think when I started recording this little lecture, I forgot to turn on system sound, so you can't hear the voices. But if I say play voice, I get to hear a sample of the voice. Now, there are two feminine and two masculine, and there's one British uh, voice. 
So these are the only voices you have to choose from right now. I'm sure that this will expand in the future. The audiobook cover, it's going to automatically generate from the book cover, the standard book cover. So I can view a sample here. So you can see what it's going to do is it's going to take the full tall book cover and it's going to put padding on the two sides to make it square. That's what it's showing you here. Okay, the audiobook can be enrolled in Audible Plus, which means I get even more revenue from loans and stuff like that. And then I get to price the audiobook from $3.99 to $14.99. Now, I'm always cheap, and this is a windfall gain, so I'm trying not to push it. I'm deciding if you want a book read in an AI-generated voice that I don't have to do anything to create, I'm only going to charge $3.99 for it. And here it tells me that I make 40%. So here's my revenues on various. Oh, there's this. This is the ebook add on, which I think comes from. Oh, yeah. This is. So when you uh, uh, get the. When you get the uh, ebook, you can get the audiobook automatically for $1.99. That's what it's saying here. So. Uh, I'm going to, now there's an open virtual voice studio, and I'm going to do this on the next pass, the next book, to show you that you can even edit more. But that is all you have to do. Pick a voice, automatically let it generate the book cover. Yeah, enroll in audio book enrollment in audio Audible Plus, and set your price. And then you say publish the audio book. And that's it. So what's happening is my audiobook is now being published. It isn't even being reviewed because everything is automated. Well, I don't have a lot of areas or a lot of room to make mistakes here. <laughs> so it's automatically publishing. And within a matter of an hour or two, it will be published. Now let's go back to page three of my books. I want to show you this one more time so I can show you the editor that you can go into. Okay, now here is books that are ineligible. Here's the next eligible book. Divine Fantasy. So I click on this once again. And I'm going to select the first female voice. Okay. Enroll in Audible Plus, yes. I'm going to make it $3.99. And then notice this down here, Open Virtual Voice Studio. Now, what this will allow you to do is go in and edit. So I'm going to have to log in here. It will allow me to go in and edit each chapter, inserting pauses, changing in punctuation or pronunciation, and changing voice speed. So I can actually go edit the AI-generated voice. Now, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> Because this is a little advanced, I haven't played with it yet. I'm just going to go ahead and say, publish my audiobook again. And there goes, there's the next audiobook published. So you can see, in a matter of minutes, I am generating audiobooks for a sale on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes for my book for $3.99 a pop. And I make mm, somewhere about half the revenue. So this is a new revenue stream that I can just generate like, like that as fast as possible. And I recommend you do it. So I'll see you in the classroom.